and we are back. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to get RTX Remix working in Gary's Mod again. This is going to be like a revised version of my first video um, because stuff has changed uh, and things are, are better now and the things work more smoothly. First off, we are going to want to head to the RTX Remix uh, GitHub link will be in the description, um, and the there are two repos for this. So you are gonna want to go uh, first Bridge Remix. You want to go to the Action tab. You might need to be logged into this, uh, and you want to click the most recent one, preferably with a green check mark. And there will be another link in the description for the DXVK. Uh, also want to go to the Actions tab. Uh, click the most recent green one, and also get the release for that. Now, open Steam, uh, go to your library, uh, right-click on Gary's Mod, over Manage, Browse Local Files. Now, in here, we're going to want to go out one. You're going to want to create a copy, preferably. You can do this to your main install. I say a copy is better, um, and paste that copy. This will create a duplicate copy of Gary's mod that we can apply our patches and fixes to that won't conflict with our main install. Now, for this folder that you should now have, you can click rename, rename it to anything you like. I'm going to be calling it Gary's mod with RTX. Now that we have our Gary's mod with RTX folder, those two downloaded files we got before, we can see that are in here. Uh, we will want to be taking Bridge Remix, uh, copy everything in here, go to the bin folder, and paste. Now we want to go back to this other one, we downloaded DXVK Remix, we want to copy everything in here, go into T-Rex, and paste it all into here. Now we can download this other Python file that is also in, in the description of the video, and run it. To do that, you may need to open this in Terminal, uh, or open CMD, browse to this folder, an easy way to do this is copying this path and doing CD and the path. If it doesn't change properly, say we are not on the right drive, and you do CD this, and you're still in the same folder, that is your folder you're in, you can do E colon and that should take you straight to the folder where you're supposed to be. E colon being the drive letter of where you're supposed to be. Now, if you have Python installed, you can type python apply patches.py, type dot afterwards and hit enter, and that will patch your gmod install to make RTX Remix more stable. Now with these patches, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take this and this, so copy these two folders, uh, take them out, and paste them into this main folder, uh, replace any of the files, what you'll also want to do is go into the Gary's Mod folder, go into bin, and find the file game shader generic Gary's Mod.dll, right click and just delete it. Now what you'll need to do is we'll need to patch the menu. So in the description you'll find this link. You will want to down hit co the green code button and click download zip. Open this once it's done downloading copy all of this and then paste it into the Gary's mod folder inside of that main folder. Hit replace if it prompts you to. Open the Lua folder and in menu you want to open the menu.lua file, comment out loading.lua and to avoid errors you will also want to go into background.lua and scroll down until you see this line you will want to make this return false. Now hit save and you can close. Now we can return to the main folder, right click, go new and create a new text document. You'll want to call this text document dxvk.conf. In the file you'll want to write d3d9.shader Model equals zero. Then you can do file, save, or press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now we can drag in 
this launch configuration that will also be in the description into the main folder. Now everything should be ready to go and launch. Double click this file to launch Gary's mod with the correct arguments for RTX Remix. And then if everything has gone right, you should see welcome to Nvidia RTX Remix at the top left of your screen. Now you can click start new game and open the map of your choice to set up some settings. I recommend Fizz DMM House. There you go. Now we can set up our settings. So I recommend you put your DLS to balanced. In game setup, go to parameter tuning and in sky tuning, set first N untextured draw calls to about six. And now we can also set sky auto detect to camera position and depth flags. Now, everything will be very shiny. Now, we can fix this by going into material options and under legacy material defaults, we can set roughness to one. This will look a lot better. Now you can click the save button. Saving your settings will mean that you won't have to set them up again the next time you launch the game. If you move around, you should see hopefully your game doesn't crash. There's a couple of textures, tricky textures, that are very annoying and you'll want to disable. Now, when you see one of these textures, such as right now on the fizz gun while I'm moving, go into the developer settings menu by pressing Alt X, going to game setup, categorize textures, and scrolling down until you find one of the textures that is causing the problems. They are usually black and white and the detail textures. If you do not wish to do this, I will provide a config with a bunch of these ignored already for your convenience. After finding the culprit, in which this case it was this texture, you can return to the game and hopefully wherever the issue was, the issue will no longer be present. Detail textures exist in a lot of maps in Gary's Mod and commonly cause issues with RTX Remix. You'll usually want to disable them when possible. And now, for the finishing touches, we can install a bunch of tweaks and fixes I've made to make the experience more smooth. Just head to the workshop and in the search bar type RTX Remix Fixes. The one you'll be looking for is the one by me, and you'll want to click on it and simply hit subscribe. After the add-on has finished installing, you can reopen Gary's Mod, start new game, and you should hopefully see two new maps here, GM Construct RTX and GM Construct in Flatgrass RTX. Now this is a fixed version of GM Construct that will play more nicely with RTX Remix. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I just crashed, but that brings me on to another point. You can make the game more stable by opening your Portal RTX install, traveling to bin, finding this specific two files, copying them into the Gary's Mod bin folder, replacing anything, opening the, going back to the main, opening this, starting a new game, opening Construct again, And now the game should hopefully be less prone to crashing. As you can see here, we can see more detail textures. If you want to fix these up yourself quickly, I will just do so, and you can follow along. Simply find this texture, click ignore texture. If your map is completely black like this, simply go to your developer sen settings menu again, categorize textures, find the sky textures, which in this case is this texture, and one other, it might be this, nope, it's not, uh, continue looking. This texture. And now your sky should be working. Now, after installing the RTX Remix Fixes add-on, you will see your own player model. Don't worry, this is on purpose. Go to your developer settings menu, categorize textures, find the player model textures, click them, and do player model texture. As you click each texture, you should see each part disappear. The reason why I've done this in the Remix Fixes add-ons is so that you can see your own player shadows and that reflections will reflect the player. Now, another part is if you wish to set up terrain textures, you'll have to find the two terrain textures, mark them as terrain texture. Sometimes terrain may have more than two textures and you should make sure that you've found all of them before moving on. After you've set that up, you should see that terrain should look nice and beautiful again, just like how it did in normal Gmod.
In the add-on description, you'll find these other extensions that you can install into your RTX Remix folder inside your Gmod install. These will allow for things like water to look nice and mirrors to work. As right now, if we look closer, we can see that this mirror is just a texture that says mirror texture. So I hope this tutorial helps some people get RTX Remix working on the Gmod install and if you have any questions please ask in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And toodles to you all, have a good one.